Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. I have a question today that came in from Eric Lands. And Eric says, Hi Don, I'm a retired Dutchman, 73, living in the utmost southwestern corner of Spain, near the Portuguese border. Okay, I got a feeling the weather must be pretty nice over there if you've moved from, from uh, Holland down there. And so he said, I started learning golf five years ago and always followed the PPGS system. Feeling confident and content with the results achieved with your system, I now consider replacing my rookie half set of golf clubs by a new set of golf clubs. I feel I can do better by replacing my half golf set. My question is, how do you judge and look at the idea of using the one iron golf set? The argument used in their website, see under appeal to me, I went and looked at it. I went and looked at it, and they're talking about one iron. All the clubs are the same, the same length. Okay. This set has to be specially imported, and I might waste good money. There are no qualified club fitters in the region where I live. What advice would you pass on to us lovers of the game called golf? All right. Appreciate your website very, very much. All right, Eric. Now. When you started talking one iron set, I had to think about it. Because even back when I was a kid, there was a club, and they must have sold some because, I mean, it was in, it was in every golf magazine advertised in the, in, in the, in the, in the uh, marketing pages in the back of the magazines. And it basically was an adjustable club. It was one club. And you, could, you came like with some type of Allen wrench, and you could change it from a, a, sand, a sand wedge to a pitching wedge to a 998 all the way up to a, three, a one iron, I believe. So every time you get a shot, you, whatever you knew your seven iron loft was, your distance was, if you had that distance, you could crank it open, turn, turn the head to what the loft had to be, and lock it down. That's, that's I guess, is the true, the true one iron set. But the one you were referring to, because I went and looked it up, and I also sent this email to Doc Griffin and got his opinion to make sure I hopefully will not blaspheme anything and make some mistakes here. But the one iron set you're talking about is, is it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad thought that won't go away. It just sounds too good so it won't go away. And I guess like we could say that about the rotational swing too because I like to see it go away because it's, it's ruining a lot of people's playing golf. It's forcing them to quit golf because not only can't they learn to hit the ball very well and consistent, but it, it starts beating up their body. And a lot of times when you, when you finally can't hit the ball worth a hoot and even if your expectations are low and, 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 and uh, uh, you can't reach those and then your body starts hurting, you say, well, I guess that's enough out of this. It's time to go back to, to something that I can do and, and, not, and not be half crippled when I get done. So let's talk about this one club. Normally they're usually about a five or a six iron, which is like the middle of the road. And every club is the same length, just a different loft. And they say because it's the same length, you can basically assume the same posture. And so that's their kicking point. And it makes sense, sounds good. But how about this thought? Every club in your bag, I'm gonna take a four iron out of my bag and put it beside my seven iron here. And you can see that, that it's definitely about two inches longer. All right. It also has. It'll also be based on the lie of this of this club. It'll it'll likely be more flat. In other words, flat means the angle from the shaft to the ground gets closer to the ground. So if every club that you build normally on average will be one degree flatter as it gets longer, your wet your sand wedge will be the the most vertical club in the bag, and then every club after that, pitching wedge, gap wedge. 9 iron, 8 iron, 7 iron, or whatever. I think the gap goes between the pitching. So you go sand wedge, gap wedge, pitching wedge, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, whatever. And then the woods start getting flatter every club. And guess what? That does the same thing as the one step, as the one, as the one length club. In, set, in the fact of you being able to get into the same setup with every, with every, basically the same setup with every posture, with every golf club. And I've always said, no matter what club I'm hitting, I always try to get into the exact same setup and try to make the exact same swing. The club makes a difference for me. So, is there another, is there another issue that, 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 can, that can, shall we say, shoot a hole in this one club theory? Well, as we know, if I have, let's look at the physics of it now. If I have a rock on a string hanging here and I flip the rock up in motion, because remember we talk about that a lot as the, as the peak performance golf swing, right? We hold the body, we hold the body more, because right? Why? Because as I, as I start swinging that rock faster and faster in a circle and it starts whizzing around, 
and, and especially if I start letting more string out and, it, and the circle's getting, the rock's getting farther away and swinging faster where I could almost hear a whizzing in the air, what happens to my hand? My hand moves less, correct? So as the string gets longer, the club can actually be swung faster. It needs a little bit more energy, but it can still swing faster. And when does the rock swing most efficiently when I'm swinging my hand? Straight up and down. Because if I start to lift my hand up and, and, and tilt that rock this way, it takes what? It takes a lot more energy to keep it going because the first little twitch, boom, it falls out of orbit. Why? Because straight up and down, it's in harmony with gravity. So half of every circle, it's reaccelerating itself. The second I tilt it uh, even a half a degree or whatever, and gravity starts affecting it, and the more I let it tilt, the quicker gravity's going to, the slightest little twitch, the gravity pulls it out of the orbit. So, yes, every club on average is about a half inch longer. As I go from my sand wedge to my gap wedge to my picking wedge, on average they'll be a half, half an inch longer as they go up the set, unless you've got a pro that's doing something different. And I believe Lynn does something a little different with my clubs on that. They're not, they're not a half inch. They might be, they might be like three-eighths of a, three-fifths of an inch or something. I don't know. I know he does something different. But each one's longer. So now the string is, and, and in the relationship of the hand and the string, what do I got? This is the rock, this is the string, and this is the body. Is, and the body is the hand. So we hold the hand more so I can swing the rock faster. Now naturally as the clubs get longer and they're a little bit heavier because of the longer shaft and, 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 and ever, things of that sort, it takes, it takes a little bit more energy to swing them. But I'm trying to make the same swing, accelerate the same way, do everything the same, but make sure that as the club gets longer I accelerate a little bit more, my arms more, I'm going to get more return from a club that's a little bit longer because I guarantee you, you take this, you take this four iron, five iron, or any club in my bag and swing the appropriate club of theirs, which is the same length, it will not go as far as this club because the string is the same length. The same string is only going to produce, on average, just about the exact same speed of the shaft swinging the string on the end of the rock, swing the rock the same, on, this, on the end, okay? so. It's a great sounding idea. If you want to hit everything, if you want to have, if you want to hit everything probably a little straighter, but a lot shorter, and, and, and not have much of a gap between some of your, especially your longer clubs, you might have a little bit more, you might get a little bit more distance on your shorter clubs because they're more vertical and you can, you might be able to swing them easier a little bit faster. But as you get to the longer clubs, your longer clubs are going to start going progressively shorter. And so if you want to, if you want to hit it relatively straight, but shorter, the one club system will probably work. But if you want to hit it to the, distance, the true distance that you can hit them, you need to stay with, I'm going to call them for better use of the term, real clubs the real way, which is progressively to get longer from the sandwich through to the driver. But when the, if they're made properly, the lie angle is correct for you, and each club is adjusted properly, one degree or whatever the degree difference is between them, you'll basically be in the same pretty much posture with every club, so you can stand up in the same setup and make the same swing the same peak performance golf swing and hit them much more solid and straight and very likely longer so you can shoot those lower scores. So hopefully this, I know it'll never put this to, to rest or, or, or put this, or put this one, one iron set you know, out the pasture where it belongs or shall we say dig a hole, put it in it and cover the hole. It's not going to do it because they're going to stay alive as long as people keep buying them. But if you keep asking me and this comes back again, I will give you basically the same answer. It doesn't produce like they claim it produces, and it doesn't give you what you want as far as true distance for the number club you're, the, 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 the club you're hitting. And that, in the end, means it's not, it's not really conforming to the laws of physics, and that's why it doesn't give you the results that it needs to be. So find yourself a good fitter. Go to our website. You can talk to these fitters. Lynn Griffin actually can fit you long distance. He has a form you can fill out and you answer all the questions and he can build you a really close to good set of clubs being perfect as if you were with him. So that's still available and, and I'm sure some of our other fitters can do that also but I know Lemon's been doing that for a number of years now and, and, and he's been very successful doing it. So get fitted clubs, get a real set of clubs where they change in, they change in length and lie to fit you so you can, you can hit better shots and shoot lower scores. That's it for the search for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon.